You know, I've never met a person that didn't want to become a more effective leader, whether we're talking about themselves or with others. I've never met a person that didn't want to increase their influence inside of their company or their family. And if you're going to become that coaching leader, if you're going to become that change agent, the difference maker, whatever you want to call it, uh, you have to understand the power of questions. See, questions are the power tool that allow us to mine the wisdom of our heads and our hearts, whether we're talking to ourselves or we are working with someone else. And yet I find that people either one, discount the effectiveness of them, or two, they don't think of the art of asking questions as a skill that they need to ultimately enhance or develop. So I want to challenge you to be a person who creates influence in your life. And here's the exercise I'm going to put you through. Down below, you'll see an exercise called the sales cycle. The sales cycle was developed originally from the Keller Williams coaching program, Bold. And if you notice, it has four different quadrants, the positive present, negative present, negative future, and then the positive future. Now, whether we're talking about you or someone else, anytime we're not taking the actions that are necessary, it's because we are stuck in one of these quadrants. And if we're going to move ourselves or others through these quadrants, questions are the tool that can get that done. And so here's my assignment to you. We're going to have two. One is with yourself. Pick an area of your life that you know you're not making the progress that you should be. It could be your health. It could be your wealth. It could be in your business, whatever that might be. Pick an area of your life. And two, I want you to locate in that sales cycle where you are stuck. It might be the positive present, right? Things are just good enough. You've probably heard that quote that good is the enemy of great, right? And so where are you in that cycle? And then where is it that you need to go? See, if you're in the positive present, you might need to put yourself in the negative present. You might need to get into a little bit of pain to get yourself moving forward. Now, pain is a great catalyst, but it is not great for consistency. If you don't know what I mean, check out a previous growth tool that we did on this. But if you're going to move yourself from one quadrant to the other, what are the questions that you would need to ask and answer? You can use the same thing in influencing or leading others, right? Maybe it's a member of your team, somebody that isn't showing up and doing the work. What quadrant are they in and which quadrant should we put them in? in order for them to take the actions to get the goal that they say that they want. And if you will sit down and just start writing the questions that can move somebody through this cycle, and it doesn't have to be clockwise, you can go from the top left to the bottom right, the bottom left to the top right, but if you can get really good at writing the questions that will move yourself and others through this cycle, you become a difference maker, you become a change agent. And so I would invite you to download both of these tools, one of them being the sales cycle. The other one are the list of questions that you're going to use to move people from one to the other and start practicing this. I've never met a person in my life that said I spent too much time developing the art of asking questions.